friends. Today is day three of Bookmas and I am so, so, so excited about today's video. Um, my friend Brie over at Call Me After Coffee created her own like cozy book tag. So I really wanted to do this. I wasn't like tagged in it or anything, but I know the tags are cool because you can tag a bunch of people, but you can also just be like, yo, I like that, so I'm gonna do it. And I really like this tag, so we're gonna do this one today. So it is the Cozy Christmas Book Tag. Now, I watched her video, and then I didn't come back and look at the questions again, because as you know, if you've watched any of my tags before, I prefer to like read the question while I'm filming and then think about it, rather than have it be kind of like rehearsed ahead of time. There's really only one prompt that I Kind of planned ahead and you'll see what that is so let's go ahead and get right into the questions um before we do i want to show you my tea that i'm drinking today is the um i figured i would get super cozy with it it's called big low big low uh egg noggin this has been my favorite tea that i've been drinking for a couple of weeks because it is so tasty you don't need to put anything in it um it has a little bit of caffeine in it um because we know Mama likes to have caffeine, but mostly it just, it feels so cozy and it tastes so good and it's, I, I don't want to drink eggnog because it is super fattening, so it makes me feel like I'm kind of drinking eggnog, but better. So anyways, that is my tea and I am ready to do the cozy Christmas book tag. So the first question is, twinkling lights, what is the most beautiful book you own? That is very easy. So I have a couple of these kind of pretty covers um, that I bought, but this one I did in a book haul not that long ago. It is Jane Eyre. I think this is absolutely my most beautiful cover that I own because it's white. I like the white because it's nice and crisp and the purple letters and it's got silver kind of, I think with my ring light it's going to be really shiny. Hopefully you can see this. Like it is just a gorgeous book. I love this so much. Um, this is definitely, it's a new addition to my bookshelf. I have multiple copies of this book already, and this is the most beautiful book that I own by far. The Perfect Tree. Will you pay more to get the prettiest edition of a book? Yes, if it's within reason. Like, I'm not going to spend an exorbitant amount of money on a book because it has a pretty color cover especially because those are more just for like display. But if it's a little bit more, yeah, I would pay for it. Um, but I think obviously the content inside of it, being able to read it is more important. That copy of Jane Eyre, as beautiful as it is, I'm probably never gonna read that edition because I have multiple other ugly versions of the book that I can read. So I, I would be happy to spend a little bit more for a display copy, but not, not a lot. Oh, this is the one I did ahead of time. I love this one. Build a snowman. Make a Christmas book sack either by color or theme. And so I decided to try to actually make mine. It was supposed to be a snowman, but when I was thinking of it, I hadn't read it ahead of time. So instead of doing a snowman, I made a Christmas tree. Um, or at least I attempted to. Let's see if I can pick it up without breaking the whole thing. It's really big. I don't know if you'll even be able to see it because I think I made it too big. Um, so I tried to make a Christmas tree book stack so let's pull this back a little bit so I basically did the trunk which is supposed to be like kind of brown or darker color this is actually really heavy so this is the trunk and then I've got greenish colors for the leaves going all the way up and then I did red for ornaments and then white for the like little star on the tree so here's my Oh my god, this is actually really heavy. <laughs> this is my Christmas tree. Um, maybe I should have read ahead of time because it was supposed to be a snowman, but whatever. I like my Christmas tree. I might actually keep it and like display it somewhere for my like Christmas. Oh my god, this is so heavy. I'll have to like pull these off or something and maybe I'll put my Christmas tree over here or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, actually, yeah, let's do that right now. So there, there's my Christmas tree book stack. Lovely. Fire. 
what book makes you feel warm and cozy? I think for me, warm and cozy definitely is like a classic because I love classic books so much. Um, I don't really want to mention Jane Eyre because I've already mentioned that one. So I would say for warm and cozy, Pride and Prejudice, absolutely. This is another one of my favorite classics of all time. I just love everything about the story. I love Elizabeth Bennet. I love Mr. Darcy. I love her writing. And I think that, yes, so I love that this is so much lighter. Like Jane Eyre and some of these other classics with our kinds are super dark and just gothic. But Pride and Prejudice takes, you know, similar time frame and it's light and I mean it's it's got some moments in it of course but the love story between Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet is just it is love <laughs> and I just love I feel like this book warm fire pride and prejudice some warm eggnog and tea mm. that is all you need perfect like cozy night knee high sucks what is the longest book you've ever read that would be Whitney my love this one, I pulled it out. It is 708 pages. Um, I have other books, like this is another one. I've never finished it because it is so long and I just wasn't really interested. I just wasn't in the mood for a fantasy, so I haven't finished it yet. This one is even longer, I think. This has gotta be like 800 pages or something. I don't even know, 714. So this is actually a longer book. Oh God, I should have mentioned this for the most beautiful cover too. Like this cover is gorgeous too. Um, but this book I have not finished yet, so <laughs> it does not count. So I read it, but I haven't finished it. So longest book I've ever completed is this one. And I've read this one probably at least, at least 10. I mean, I read this almost every year. So ugly sweaters. What is the ugliest book that you own? Okay. Um, I'd have to say this one just because the cover and this is destroyed, but I don't think that's what this question is going for. I think it's just going for an actual ugly cover. I actually got this from my dad like years and years ago. And this is just not an attractive looking cover at all. The Victim. I don't even know what it's about. It was my dad's book. He gave it to me. I should probably read it at some point. Um, but yeah, this just is not an attractive cover at all. I don't even know what's going on with this one. It's just a lot of words and a weird picture at the top. And we're going to ignore the writing on it. But it, this is definitely not an attractive cover. So yes. I think that like that kind of goes to show you though. Like this book is really old. Like really, really old. And look at how much work they put into the covers then versus now you have these just gorgeous covers are like a work of art, you know? Um, because people do judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Blizzards. A book set in winter, a book set in winter or a book that gives you the chills slash has dark themes. So let's go to the Christmas train because that is set in, in winter and is definitely cozy or is supposed to be. Oh, the Winter Sister. I haven't read this one yet, but it is called The Winter Sister. So I'm assuming it probably takes place during winter. And it's a thriller, I think, or like a mystery. So this would probably be both. Winter, because it's in the title, so I'm assuming it's in there. And darker themes. And basically anything you see behind me in this area is gonna be darker themes. This is like my thriller section. Home for the holidays. All right, for you re-readers out there, are there any books that make you feel like going home? And yes, I have to say Jane Eyre again. I don't want to talk, I talk about, you know, when you have a favorite book, you talk about it all the time. But yes, this book is definitely like going home for me, not just because I love it, um, but really what made me read this book, um, I don't know if I can do this without crying, is this book makes me think of my grandma. So she's like alive and everything. I just haven't talked to her in a while. But growing up, she loves this book. Like this is my Nana's favorite book too. And um, I don't know why I'm crying. This is so stupid. <laughs> so growing up, she used to always give us a book 
for Christmas. And I remember when you were really wanting to get this book, and my sister did. <laughs> um, but she just, she adores this story so much. So when I was in middle school, I think it was like 13 when the first time I read it. I read it because I wanted to read Nana's favorite book. And I just fell in love with it. And it's definitely, it's a dark but beautiful love story. Um, it takes you to a different time and place. A different world. I mean, I mean, the historical that's why I love historical fiction so much and these are classics you know historical fiction and classics because it takes you out of today's fucked up world and it takes you to a place and time where things were not necessarily simpler but just different and you can escape and so I read this book and it is it is dark um, which we know I like darker things but it is beautiful and the writing is perfect and every single time I read this book, I think one, I love this book, and two, I think of my Nana. So this would definitely be like going home for me. Well, that one took a weird emotional turn. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this cozy Christmas book tag. I had so much fun making it. Um, I didn't tag anybody yet because I just didn't think that far in advance. So check the description bar below to see if you have been tagged because I'm going to think about who to tag while editing the video. Um, so there will be a list of at least a few people down below. And definitely um, there's also going to be a link to Bree's video um, because she is the one that created the tag and I just think it's great. So go check her out. She is lovely. And if you want to do this as well, you don't have to be tagged. I was not. I just did it because I wanted to. So I just tag everybody as well. So with that, go write some words and read a book, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, friends. It is day two of Vlogmas. Um, I am excited because I'm usually already behind, um, but today we're going to quickly do my December TBR. So, I have decided that this year I'm going to get super into Christmas. Like, Christmas has already always been my 